it is Friday July 26 and I am doing I have my meal plan together I actually was planning on going grocery shopping tonight but then my son came over with my grandson so I'm probably not gonna get my shopping done until tomorrow um, I'm not sure whether I'm gonna go to Aldi or do a Walmart grocery pickup so I will decide I don't know I depending what time they leave tonight I may go ahead and go later tonight but we'll see so this is what I have on the menu for this week I'm kind of excited I have a couple new things I want to try um, for those of you who don't know me I do pretty much the same snacks each week I do pretzel crisps and I used to do it with laughing cow cheese um, but I have been really loving the Aldi queso it is only one point for two tablespoons and it is so good it's the I think it's called uh, Casa Mamita or something like that and actually I have to get some more so if I don't end up going to Aldi and I do the Walmart grocery pickup then I will just do my pretzel crisps with the laughing cow cheese and that's a four point snack it's three for the pretzel crisps and one for either the queso or the laughing cow and then sugar-free chocolate pudding, that is our favorite. We have one of those every single night. Those are two points. Um, yogurt is three. I actually didn't end up having any yogurt this week. Um, I always just keep it in the fridge because sometimes I, I might have it for a quick breakfast if I wasn't able to eat my breakfast that day for some reason, or I have it just as a snack. But I actually didn't end up eating any this week. And then fruit for zero. I did eat all my fruit this week. And then... For breakfast, I am going to try to make a peanut butter brownie baked oatmeal. It looks so good. I can't remember the website that I got it off of. I will make sure, obviously, when I do my meal prep um, Sunday, I'll put the link to all the recipes. So normally I do my cereal Thursday and Friday, but this, brown, um, this baked oatmeal I think is going to make enough for 10 servings. And those servings will be five points each. So it'll be five for me and five for my husband. So we're going to plan on that the whole week. And then for lunch, I'm going to do a slow cooker meal for lunches. So I'm going to have to start that first thing Sunday morning. Um, it's going to be a slow cooker cheesy chicken, broccoli, and rice. And that's going to be three points. I'm going to do that Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. And then Wednesday, I will do just my Laughing Cow Turkey Wrap, which is just uh, Laughing Cow Wedge, uh, Cheese Wedge on a, an Olay Extreme Wellness Wrap and with turkey and vegetables, that's two points. And then um, Friday, I'm going to be having uh, leftovers from the night before. I'm going to be making uh, turkey meatloaf, so I'll have that leftover for lunch on Friday. Um, I'm, I actually am not sure... Tuesday for lunch I don't know for sure how that's gonna how I'm gonna be doing that I don't know if I'm gonna be able to bring that or not because I have um, a conference through work in Orlando so I'm gonna be driving there Tuesday morning it's only about an hour from me and it's supposed to be a lunch is provided there so I'm just kind of not sure what they're gonna have kind of a little bit worried about that sometimes they don't have very good choices but they usually always have a salad so what I'll do is just bring some salad dressing in my purse just in case so um, okay for dinners on Monday I'm gonna do garlic parmesan crusted salmon that is in the air fryer that is probably my favorite one of my favorite salmon recipes and then I'm just gonna do it with the 90 second wild rice and then cheesy Brussels sprouts and then Tuesday, I'm going to do a barbecue bacon cheddar stuffed pork chop. That looks so good. It's actually, I found a recipe, but I'm kind of tweaking it a little bit. And then Wednesday night, I was planning on doing, Jones Pointed Plate has a Hasselback chicken recipe that looks so good. Um, but then I thought about, it, Wednesday night is the night before weigh-in, so... I kind of don't really want to have ham just because of the amount of sodium in it so I might just kind of tweak that I'm thinking of maybe doing an air fryer Hasselback chicken I'm just not sure what I'm gonna put in I was thinking like cream cheese and I don't know spinach or something so not quite sure exactly how that's gonna be but I'll come up with something and then I'm just gonna do roasted broccoli and asparagus with that 
And then Thursday night, I'm making the barbecue glazed turkey meatloaf. That is from the Weight Watchers. Uh, that's a Weight Watchers recipe. It's on the app. And I put four. It actually only comes out to two points, but I put four because I always have a double serving of that. It's so good. And I actually make a double batch of that so that it, um, I have it the next day. That's actually a slow cooker recipe too. So what I'll do is just prep it. I'll put the meatloaf together Sunday and when I do my prep and then I can just throw it in the crock pot on Thursday morning. And then I'm just gonna do some garlic mashed potatoes and corn with that. And then on Friday, we usually do um, air fryer fish and fries or some type of fish fry. Sometimes we've been kind of winging Friday nights. It just depends. Um, every night has been, it's been a little bit different. Like tonight, we were supposed to actually have, um, I think we were going to have public subs for dinner tonight on the menu from last week. But I actually didn't end up making the pork tenderloin dinner that we had the other night. I forgot my husband had. A, um, a dinner from work so I actually had when I prepped that Sunday I went ahead and just threw the pork tenderloin back in the freezer because I knew I wasn't going to be making it until at least Friday so we didn't end up having that the other night so I'm making that tonight that's why you can hear my air fryer in the background so I apologize for that so that is my men, uh, menu plan for this week and then of course Saturday and Sunday I don't plan um, we never know what we're going to do on the weekend, so we usually always have steak one day, and then Sundays is my big prep day, so I usually just do something easy like uh, something in the slow cooker or something like that. So um, that's it for the menu for this week, and as always, things can always change. I may change something up, may do something a little different, but for the most part, as of right now, that is my plan. So. I will show you what I got from the grocery store and show you my grocery haul after I get my groceries. All right guys, so my son and my grandson ended up leaving um, about eight. So it's now like 8.25 and my Aldi closes at nine. So I went ahead and came. I'm gonna try and get this done. So we'll see how I do. This right here. This is it. Casa Mamita. Oh, oh my gosh, it's so good. One point, two tablespoons. Um, yes, please. is a deal. 99 cents a pound for cherries. Aldi peanut butter is actually less points than Peter Pan Natural. So, I always get a couple of these. My husband likes these. I actually like them too, but peanut butter can get me in trouble. It's the Isle of Doom. Those are cute. Okay, luckily there's not a whole lot catching my eye. Oh, except cooking stuff. Oh my goodness. Uh, oh, there's another cute one. Those are stainless steel too. All right, I gotta get out of this aisle, you guys. I'm dropping stuff. It's a good thing they're gonna close soon. I'd probably spend a little bit too much time here. Okay, I gotta get out of this aisle.
Okay guys, so it's now 9.30. <laughs> I just got home and got everything put out and scanned the things that I couldn't remember, wrote everything down. I did go to Publix the other day, so I'm going to show you the couple things I got there. I actually needed to get some beer and diet soda for my husband, so um, I picked up these as well. These are the chocolate graham crackers, and you can have one full sheet for two points. Those are so good, and I like those with um, either um, Cool Whip or crushed up in my pudding. So I may do some kind of dessert with those this week. And then I got my husband's um, sugar-free French vanilla coffee creamer. This is one point for three tablespoons, and then I think it becomes two after that. So that was just the couple things that I got at Publix. So. The rest I got at Aldi, and I spent a hundred and nine dollars. I tried to um, show the receipt, but it wasn't it wasn't coming into focus. So, hundred and nine dollars I spent. So I'm going to start with all the zero point foods. So I got um, a couple dozen eggs. I got some chicken breast. Um, I'm going to use that for the lunches and also for one night um, that I do chicken breast. Got some salmon. Some fresh broccoli for the night. We have salmon, asparagus, um, Brussels. No, actually salmon. I think the night we have salmon, I'm doing the Brussels sprouts. I'm doing the broccoli a different night, I believe. So I picked up a couple of things of the Brussels sprouts. These are so good. They're baby Brussels sprouts, and we absolutely love those. Picked up, again, a couple of the California medleys. I can't remember if I used these at all this week. I want to say I used some in one of my lunches. Um, I think the day that I had my um, turkey wrap. And then um, I got a couple things of frozen broccoli. That is going to be for the lunches. And then they had the cherries on sale for 99 cents a pound. Oh, I love cherries. They're so good. And then blueberries. I got some blueberries. I got some um, oven classic turkey. This is actually really good deli turkey um, from Aldi. It's just a no-name brand, and it's $2.99 for eight ounces. But it's really good. It tastes like tastes just like um, sliced deli uh, deli meat that you get at a deli. And that is zero. And then let's see some chicken broth. That's zero. Um, these pickles are absolutely amazing. I try not to eat pickles too much because I do have high blood pressure. It's under control. I'm on medication for it, but um, I try and watch my sodium because of that. But those are really good. If you like the ones that kind of almost have that garlic taste, those those are so good. They taste similar to that. And then I got some um, sucralose. This is like the Splenda spinoff, and um, I use those in my coffee. Since we're talking about coffee, I do have a cup of coffee, two cups of coffee every morning. I have um, two packets of sugar in each cup, and I use the Great Value non-dairy creamer. Um, I use eight grams in each cup. Um, so then I got some corn, some green beans, those are zero, and then I got some, this is sustainably caught skipjack chunk light tuna and water. We usually like that albacore tuna, but they don't have albacore at Aldi, so I got the sustainable kind, so we'll see how that is. Those are zero. And then I think that's it for the zeros. Um, oh, I got some cocoa powder, or baking cocoa. And then I got, well, that's, we all know olive oil is not zero, but I got some olive oil. I think, what is olive oil, like four points for a tablespoon, but I don't ever use a tablespoon. I'm lucky if I use a teaspoon when I use it, but I like to, I get that kind and I pour it into um, my misto and use that. And then let's see, I think that's it for the zeros. Okay, now the one point, I got, of course, my queso. One point for two tablespoons. I'm gonna use that with my pretzels this week. And then I picked up this cheese. Um, my husband likes to have that if he has a sandwich. So that's two points for a slice. Picked up some more center cut bacon. That is um, one point for two slices or two points for four slices. 
And then I picked up some pork chops, center cut pork chops. Those are two points for four ounces. And then that's it for the two points. The three points are the pretzels. These are similar to the Snack Factory pretzels. Um, they taste, taste pretty much the same to me. Those are three points for 28 ounces. And then some white rice. I couldn't remember how much white rice I had left, so I picked some of this up. And rice, this rice is six points for one cup. I always, I never use a cup of rice when I have rice in with any of my meals. Um, I always use a half a cup, so it's only three points for a half a cup. And then they didn't have the strawberry yogurt like we like. They had this tropical fruit, so curious to see how that tastes. And then I got some of the 93% lean fresh ground turkey. They didn't have ground turkey breast, so um, I went ahead and got this. This is three points for four ounces. And then I picked up some natural creamy peanut butter. This peanut butter is three points for one tablespoon, six points for two tablespoons. I know we used to use Peter Pan Natural, and Peter Pan Natural is seven points for two tablespoons. So we're saving a point by using this kind. Um, I got some cream cheese. That is three points for one ounce. And then picked up some cheese, uh, hard cheese for my husband. That's four points for one ounce. And then I also picked up for my breakfast. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to have that. These um, mini semi-sweet chocolate morsels. It said for the serving size, it says one tablespoon, 15 grams. When I scanned this, it said four points for 132 pieces. So I'm guessing you can have 132 chocolate chips for four points. So I'm definitely not going to be using 132 chips in that. So that's actually a pretty good, if that's what it comes out to, I'm going to weigh it. When I open it, I'll weigh it out and just make sure. But that's not bad points for chocolate chips. So anxious about that. So I think that's it. Um, that was it, yeah. So $109 for that. That's not bad. That's all I have to buy this week. I had everything else. So I actually saved this week. Okay, so that is it. So my next uh, video should be my meal prep. And if you're new to my channel, make sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button and also click the notification bell so you're notified anytime that I upload new content. And I will talk to everybody in my next video. I'm Christy and I'm planning us healthy.